City. I'm helping my sister with her reel because she got one of her first like mini sponsorships. What I like about certain sponsorships, well depending on what the brand is, if you like it, you just get that product for free. <laughs> Since it's fall, this is the time where you know we start reflecting on our life a little bit more. Just a little bit extra. I don't even know what to do because I'm supposed to be on duty. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. They be driving in areas that we be going to all the time. Oh. <laughs> this footage is so cute. No, I say? No, you're I'm ruining it. it. <laughs> that was so neat. This daylight savings is really getting to me. Honestly, don't know how we're gonna adapt this fall, but we're gonna do something. Oh, this is too high. Oopsies, babe. Ooh, let me actually look up their menu because I'm getting tired. They don't have no food except for what's in the food bar. What? Oh, coffee? Honey oat latte. Matcha latte. I've been meaning to try matcha, y'all. Is it worth the hype? Who knows? I don't think today's gonna be the day I try it. Why? It's not giving matcha right now. Giving like frappuccino, but that doesn't have caffeine. But they don't have frappuccinos. Oh, this is not, Starbucks is the only people that do frappuccinos? That's not really a coffee thing. It's not coffee at all. <laughs> mm. It's a very American thing. Cortado. The cortado. Capi yeah, that's, or is that cappuccino? 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 Yeah, you said cappuccino. So they cappuccino. do have it. Cappuccino and frappuccino are not the same. Oh, okay. Obviously, I'm illiterate. That looks like something I would like. I don't even know what I'm filming. Okay. This you is your day. You you want me to get I need pictures. This is not. This is not. Prepared. I know, but like, what is this? What am I supposed to do with this? Iced coffee. Ooh. Oh, it's cold. It's too cold for iced coffee. Why is you? Crunch, crunch it on your face. I noticed I like my coffee really sugary. Oh, they have hot chocolate. Sounds good. Great. Anyway, are you getting something or not? Are you rushing me? People don't, don't like the race dog. Y'all don't know to not stare at people. I think everybody who sees content creators in person actually being content creators needs to keep in mind that this is what we do. Y'all like to watch the TikToks and the YouTube videos, but then act like we're such aliens in person. You gotta think about it, they don't really see y'all in real life. I know, but like y'all just look so freaking. So they be like, wow, what y'all look like when you make the video? Well, yeah, that's how I be. But still, like, 
have some decorum. I'm honored to say Scentbird chose to sponsor us once again. I'm sure you guys are well aware of Scentbird by now. It's a online fragrance subscription that allows you to try one or more fragrances each month for just $17. When purchasing, you'll get a 30 day supply to try each fragrance before committing to that full size bottle. There's over 600 fragrances from Prada, Gucci, Versace, to more indie labels like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. And my gentlemen, please bear in mind that they are not limited to just one gender. They have colognes and unisex options to choose from. A lot of the fragrances that they had over $150, each ranging from $300 to $500. And personally, I need to make sure I at least have a sample before committing to that full purchase. Now this month, I got four different fragrances and it's just two twists to unlock or lock the bottle. What I can appreciate about Scentbird's updated packaging is that you can actually open up the case in which the perfumes come in and see exactly how much you're getting. Now first up, we have Soleil Lalique. Vinny Soleil, Soleil Lalique, I mean, and I had to. It has Cafe Latte, Praline, Almond, jasmine and musk this would definitely be definitely be in my top five at minimum we have aqua di parma these notes are bergamot orange jasmine magnolia and musk now this one for whatever reason smells like some luxury orange that you would get on the coast of some tropical island then we have rose struck these notes have cassis tangerine matcha tea damask rose and rose centifolia similar to the previous one this one has oranges as well but it's not nearly as strong and last but not least my favorite Dolce & Gabbana The One. This is my go-to OG scent. I'm always gonna pick it up every time. You know how some scents can be a little abrasive? Yeah, this is not with this one, babe. Overall, y'all know what to do. Be sure to click the link down below in my description with my code or scan the QR code for 55% off your first month at Semper, which will only run you about eight bucks for your whole order. Don't say I didn't put you on. <laughs> Baby, it's This is what we're going with. This has been like my go-to fall scent for whatever reason, because it smells nothing like the season, at least to me. You know what? Where's our scent bird? Ah, I, I completely forgot, like hello. This is scent bird, still saying Gabbana the one. Go get you some, babe. I forgot, you're not supposed to rub, pat. Now let's roll. Oh Lord, y'all can't even see me. Okay, y'all, we're gonna go fall shopping, whatever that means. I'm on the hunt to pick up some cute little fall pieces to get myself in the spirits, you know. You know how that be. You know, the, the main goal here is to just not be depressed. You gotta take preventative measures. So let's go. We're gonna pray that Target or Marshalls or Home Goods or one of them ones is gonna come through for us today. I got a bunch of stuff I'm wearing to get, honestly. I'm just all over the place. That was so ghetto. Oh my gosh. I feel like Hobby Lobby would have most of everything that I'm looking for. The other stores are just kind of like backup dancers. Wish me luck, John, because I'm gonna need it. I found the street of the house in which she slept. And my stories pulled out of the name on every page. Just when I thought you'd fallen in love with me. Mm. I tried to tell you 
Okay, what's tea? What's good? Hopefully this angle is doing me a little bit of justice. It's 8.43. 8.43 on a weekday. When would Venice ever be picking up the camera right now? I couldn't tell you. I wanted to show you guys my little fall pickups though because I did some damage in the store. Not too much though. Nothing major. Nothing worth reevaluating my life. <laughs> y'all are gonna be the judge of if I return any of these. But let me go, let me go show y'all. Fun. I know, I know. I'm excited. Maybe you guys have seen what I picked up. If not, then I'm here to let y'all know. Excuse the bleach stains on my shirt. I'm literally not changing. It's 8 p.m. I'm trying to be a little bit smarter now that I'm 20. I feel like it's only right for me to have a little bit, just a little bit more sense. Typically, my go-to is Target, but as of recently, Target has not been targeting. So, we went back to our roots and we went to Marshalls. I've never slept on Marshalls. I don't know about y'all, but I know some people do. But this is the high Highlight of my Marshall. This would have to be the highlight of our Marshall. This, I can't. Hello. This would have to be the highlight of my Marshall's trip. It's the Impressions Touch Ultra LED Makeup Mirror. Now, little backstory. Just so it doesn't look like I'm just buying stuff just to buy it. Recently, I've been wanting to completely like revamp my vanity. First of all, the drawers falling apart the lights completely like stopped working like the wiring that turns on the light i have to position it certain directions in order for it to even say hello i'm not a fan of that so you know it's coming to an end i've had it for about two years maybe even pushing three that's me being generous though i want to revamp that whole area and i know that that's for sure something i want to start off with my whole like room decor because we're gonna be changing it up eventually i don't know when but let's start small so that's where this bad boy came into play this is the touch ultra i've already i told you guys already let's open it though because you know what with those type like marshall's type stores you kind of gotta be um cautious because first of all everything's already like half opened in that store it could literally be in shatters by the time you get home because it's like so refurbished crossing our fingers okay Ooh. i'm not having too high of hopes because the plastic looks a little cheap oh 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 <laughs> this is cute Say hello to yourself. This is cute. Wow, this is nice. I got no roaches in here or nothing. When there's nothing on the mirror and my hands are probably filthy. Initially, I said these were like fall pickup, but take that with a grain of salt because I'm not really too much into like the fall decor, the orangey vibes, you know, not my preferred cup of tea. So, who would have thought? I mean, y'all probably know already, but I haven't been to Marshall's in decades. Like, I remember going to Marshall's when I was a little kid with my mom, waiting for her to pack it up. But like they had name brand stuff and they were pretty cheap. But you know like, you know those like items that stores be having that are name brand, but they're like not usually like a preferred option that somebody would go towards. That's kind of what Marshalls is. Anyway, I want to experiment with um, lipsticks. My go-to is usually lip gloss if I really want to add a little pizzazz. If not, it's just Blistex. I got a Too Faced lip injection instant and long-term plumper. Never would have ever picked up a plumper, but it was only $10. And then they have more Morphe lipstick. Oh, this is MAC. But they have Morphe MAC lipstick, and the shade is what got me. I love peachy tones, and I just feel like this would look bomb on just not only my complexion, but anybody melanated. Look at that. Are y'all looking? Hold on. Okay. Ah, 
I'm excited. And then recently I've been getting into like doing my own press-ons. Unfortunately, I have to take a extended long break from acrylics. They have not been too nice to my nail beds. And it's been going on like three plus years that I've gotten acrylics back to back with no breaks. At least little to no breaks. But I'm loving like the short nails. I don't know. I don't know. Ever since I turned 20, like things are just clicking that never used to click before. I just been playing around with nail colors that I wouldn't typically do, say I would have gotten an acrylic set. And because it's shorter, you know, I feel like it's less abrasive. I got a little bit more room to experiment. Anywho, rambling. I got the OPI Nail Liqueur in the shade. I don't know how to pronounce that, so. Definitely a shade I would pick up. What was it? $5 for OPI? Lastly, from Marshalls, we just got another Morphe color pencil. Now, I don't know if this is for my lips, my eyes, or anywhere in between, but we'll find out. Then brown, though. And you know what? This kind of does fit the fall theme, so, you know, I'm not too off-brand. Let's move on to Hobby Lobby. Me and Hobby Lobby go together, at least now. Y'all, I don't know what's my obsession with mirrors. I have two perfectly, no, three. Three perfectly working mirrors in this room, and yet I still had to buy two more. It was worth it. It's so cute, and I really like that it's just a perfect circle, but it's not just like with the white outline. It's black on the outside. I've been into black, if you couldn't tell. And then this was just like, I was just picking stuff up, honestly, y'all. Like This little downtown sign. I've always seen these in bedrooms, but I thought like the Depending on what it said, it was a little tacky. But, you know, I don't think so anymore, obviously. <laughs> but I think this would be cute. Just somewhere. It could fit in perfectly. And then Target. I didn't completely neglect my go-to. I just got some black hangers. I'm running out, long story short. Ooh, ooh. Maybe I'm just late to the bandwagon, but I never knew Target had such cute slides. I just had to pick up a little pair. Nothing too crazy. Back to the whole vanity thing. I just have a bunch of lotions and perfumes and just little knickknacks that belong somewhere cute. So I thought this was so neat. It's just a little like turntable, but for your vanity. And I feel like when I'll be ready to go and I just can do a little twisty, it's gonna fit in perfectly. And then I just got a candle. This is my favorite candle scent from Target. I had to pick it up. Around this time of the year, I always get back into candles. It's just that season, babe. But this is the aloe and bergamot. Mm, love it. But yeah, um, oh, and then I got some earrings from Target. Typically, I would just order earrings off of Amazon, but I don't know, I just picked them up at Target. It's the convenience that's all, like there's literally no thought behind these purchases. I hope you're like picking up that. <laughs> Okay, we have the vanity. I hope I like it because it's kind of bulky. Just a little tad bit. This is my current mirror. Uh, good thing I have batteries. Like, jeez. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't ruin my moment. Oh, I didn't press the button. <gasps> Wait, do I actually like it? Let me see. Honestly, yeah, I do. That's cute. Hello? I like it. Makeup is gonna be so much more fun. My turntable, I'm gonna put that together. Let's try these on really quick. Um, I know nothing about lippies. Like, I don't know the combos, what looks best with what. This is purely expensive. Ooh, should we try the Limp Plumper? A slight to intense tingle. Only within perimeter of lips. If applied on skin, a temporary redness may occur. Hmm. Should I be scared? <laughs> okay, let's just do it. How long does it take to... Why am I already feeling something? Maybe I'm just delusional. <laughs> I don't want my lips to be super plump. We don't want that. I feel a tingle. I like this gloss, it's very hydrating. But it's tingling. Oh, it's tingling already. And I'm still rubbing it in, why? So while that is plumping, I'm gonna put on my earrings. I recently had to take out some of my studs. Oh my gosh, my lips are freaking. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm like sweating. <laughs> Let's just act like we're not even paying attention. Okay, we got one ear in. It's been like a week since I had any earring in my hole. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh my gosh. 
No one tell me it's closed. Hold on. <laughs> are you kidding me? My freaking ear closed that fast? Okay, this is too much. First, my freaking lips are sweating. Oh my gosh. My ear already closed. Okay, I just had to do a little push. False alarm. Cute. Cute. Hopefully this third hole is open still. Come on. Oh. You freaking! Ugh. How did my ears just close up that fast? I've had these for over a year. I'm gonna have to push it through. <sighs> I just had to re-pierce my whole ear. You know, I always heard stories about people doing that. I never thought it would be me. Next, I should have cleaned these. Wow, these have been all in the store and I'm just injecting myself with them. Okay, this one went through. I don't really like how big they are. It's just, it looks like a lot going on. We're gonna take this off now. Oh, they look nice and juicy. But let's try this lip liner. I think this is a lip liner. I honestly have no clue. We're gonna try to like make a little combo. Never been a fan of lip liner on me. Like, I be seeing girls eat with this, but it just doesn't do much for me. We have the Morphe Good Talk Blotted Matte Lipstick in Coco Cutie. This one was so cute, y'all. Like, I would clean up the liner a little bit. I don't think I like overlined lips on me just yet. Am I supposed to like this? <laughs> it's not terrible. I've seen worse, but I feel like my lips are just like enlarging by the second. And then we have, oh, I should have did this lipstick first. This one looks way cuter. Let's see if I could just... Maybe add a little concealer. <laughs> Do I like that? My lips look so succulent. <laughs> oh, I think this one is gonna be more up my alley. My top and bottom lip are two different shades. So when I cover my top lip, it just makes me not recognize myself because my top lip is darker. And I like that. Like my lips have a natural like mini outline. So when I, it's covered with lip gloss, or like pigment, I don't know what to do with myself, so. I'm literally just playing around with this because never would I ever experiment like this on a day I'm going out, I'll tell you that much. That's cute, that's, that's like a little closer to my natural lip shade. Let me see something, now I just wanna do stuff. That's cute. I think I like it. I think. I don't know. I could look back on this footage and wonder what I was thinking. It's time to wrap it up. Let's call this a night. <laughs>